Okay, so there is the original mini hub. Rusty disc, not really worn out, but rusty. Worn out, very tired. Wall joints, that one's not too bad, but that one's awful. Hub needs some work. Filthy. This is our midpoint in restoration, that's the other hub. So we've just uh, powder coated, aka hammerite, in a can. Uh, a couple of coats of that will do just fine, it's just cleaned up. It's come up quite nice, I think. And we've got a new bearing and new ball joints to shim in for that. And that's obviously a steering arm, if you're wondering, if you've never seen a mini hub before. So that's a steering arm there. So uh, let's strip this down and give it the same treatment. finished hub, we're obviously missing the wheel bearing, that's not here yet. Random cows. Um, it's been 10 plus years since I've done these shim ball joints. Had to completely refresh my memory with Haynes and some googling and some advice from Steve, our pug parts hero. Um, but we've seemed to manage it. We had to actually basically take uh, a few thou off the bottom of these hub nuts because of lapping these um, slightly poor ball joints in meant we couldn't add shims, we had to take shims away effectively but I'll show you that in a second, so that's how it kind of looks finished, quite happy with it um, issues with grease gun, I hate grease guns I get to enjoying these and then I stop putting grease in them and then I realise why I don't like them I mean, grease everywhere, anyway so this is the plan, what you get is uh, I'll pour them out in here you get basically a raw ball joint so it looks a bit like that Sorry the dirty hands, I'm saving gloves for going out if I have to. So you can see there's lots of uh, pitting in it. And we need to lap that in to the two surfaces which it's going to work with, which is one of the cups, so it's going to go on that inner edge there. On this side here, that's just a slice for allowing some grease to move through it. And then the other end of the cup is that. Again, you can, it doesn't exactly look smooth, so we need to lap these in. We, I just use some uh, grinding paste. I use the coarse stuff first, quick go over, and then the fine stuff. Um, I might not quite go as far as I did with those because it was such a, an annoyance. Um, but you want to get rid of that pitting, and you can you can kind of hear it. It's pretty rough, so you need to just lap them into each other. Make sure you obviously keep it as a set. You don't mix it up with the others. And then once we put the ball on and put the cap on, we tighten this down 75 foot pounds and we measure the gap between this and the base of this at the point where this loses any play and then we take the measurement of uh, the lock washer which goes underneath it, take that off and if there's any need, put shims in, if there's a need for more space we'll have to take something, uh, take some off the bottom of that. You can see that one's been nicely lapped in and that one hasn't. I haven't gone quite as far with that one as I was with the other two just because the uh, palaver it took afterwards uh, but you can see the difference uh, where you can you get you basically make the two surfaces together and um, on the other side there basically using a drill just briefly I've just used only fine paste this time too and it's come up okay I'm happy with it um, I would guess that at a mirror finish actually you don't allow the tiny imperfections for grease to get in there don't know your theories please in the comments I await being slaughtered by all the experts on mini hubs because I'm not one okay so we just took a few thou off basically this surface here so that it will go down further and pinch onto the joint more and basically at 75 foot pounds there's just a little bit of movement and there's no up down movement so there's no play left in the joint so we're just going to give this a final clean off and we'll squirt some grease in there until it's up here we'll put fresh grease all on the joint pop it together then squirt grease until it all comes out the sides rubber boot on the top peen in the sides 
done. Okay, and then we have it finished. So peened in there, peened in there, peened in there, so on three sides. Um, I've seen many of these, they're just peened in one spot, but just want to make sure of it. Again, I'm sure everyone will tell me if I'm right or wrong there. And then a little boot that just pops on the top is held in just there. And then when the joint actually goes onto the uh, on the arm that comes on it, also helps that keep that boot in place. But the boot basically slides on the joint like that. It's quite a clever little simple design, really. Very simple. Um, so just put the uh, nut on the top there, a little top tip to keep the thread safe. So if you knock it, you don't damage the threads. And I'm pretty happy with how stiff that is. So it's loose but stiff. No playing it. I'm happy with that. So we need to strip the arms out, put new bearings in them, new seals. Uh, these ball joints are just fine, we'll clean out the cups. We need new boots and we'll just give these a nice clean up and um, they'll come up fine. So first thing we're going to do is strip it all down, give it a coat of paint. ready for paint as you've just seen and uh, we'll give them a lick of paint and then while we've given them a lick of paint we're starting to uh, sort these little suckers out so I'll just uh, rub back this stick it in a drill basically use a little bit of scotch pad a little bit of WD polish them up nice make sure they're, they're okay they're pretty good and then we'll strip all this down clean all these up ready these don't need paint they just want cleaning up on the left is after and the right is before. So let's do what I did to that one, to that one. So I guess it's time to put all of this together. Okay, so wheelbearings finally arrived, so it's best time to get all this together, I suppose. Uh, we've just gone and used a little press just to push the inner races of the bearings in. Um, we'll use the vise just to push the bearings in on this, that's fine. Um, best quickly mention brakes, you might have mentioned, seen them earlier, uh, but we're with 8.4 inch uh, vented discs and grooved as well from uh, Mini Sport. Uh, now they are pretty small as sizes go, but they've got to fit under 12 inch wheels and they're pretty blooming heavy these discs, which is actually a positive. You don't want unsprung weight, yes, calipers make up for this, I can assure you, as you'll see them later if you haven't already. Uh, but. A lot of metal here is good because you're less likely to end up with brake fade because as soon as this disc gets up to a certain temperature it won't any longer dissipate heat from which friction uh, from which is coming from the friction which is slowing you down it's all about heat management that brakes work so hopefully these will stop our little mini beast they stop others they're nothing out of ordinary they are for me but for most people with minis this is just sort of a good sport setup Anyway, there's the discs that we're using. I'll talk about brakes later more perhaps, um, but I'm mentioning them now because these are in, well, they're not quite inboard discs, but basically the flange goes on top of that disc. Uh, let me show you briefly. If you've not ever worked on a Mini, you won't know that. 
So wheel flange sits like that. We bolt that onto the disc and then that sits on the hub and then the wheel goes onto that as opposed to modern vehicles where the disc would come onto the face of here. So a little bit different, but that's the way they do it. They don't need more things. So that's our two hubs all built up, ready to go. Two upper arms ready to go. Little high-lows cleaned all up. These are the shafts that go through these upper arms. So they get put on obviously when you put them in the car. So we'll go and get the uh, donuts now and the arms and all the bushes ready. And I think we'll build up the front suspension and then we can measure drive shafts. So we've assembled all the parts. I think I have all the right bolts. I need two new bolts. I'm just going to use an M80 here, but we need one with a, a shank in it um, for this piece, but that can be used for final assembly. And I'll probably get a couple of new ones of those. I can only find two at the moment. I need four. And by the by, that's everything. Obviously, plus a little funky modified bolt, which the only way to put that in and out is to put it in while you rotate the drive shaft. Sweet. Right, let's get on with it. Let's put all that in there. That's all the suspension parts on, other than the donut. Um, you might have seen me trying to attempt to put it in. Amazingly, I actually took them out, the original donuts, with the high-lows in place. And I just thought, wow, the high-lows must give you enough adjustment um, to get them out. But that shows out how worn out the old donuts are. And I'm not about to take off the bolt and support this and squish them in just for a size check. I don't need the donuts in for that. I'm not putting it on the floor. And I'll do that later. These are as fiddly as heck. Still haven't got that boot on yet, but as it's not final assembly, we'll worry about that then. Uh, everything's pretty good. I now just got to measure the distance between that flange and that flange, and then add on the protrusion um, from the drive shafts to go obviously inside that cup and inside that cup. And then we'll know the measurement we need, and then I can halve it basically and do half shafts of each, because obviously that's a pretty short shaft that I'll need. And I need half Fiesta and half Mini. So that's where we're going to go with that. All fits, which is a bonus. Okay, so money shots. Working very nice. Brakes sit beautifully behind the wheel. And there's our wheels. We'll check about those another time, but I just couldn't resist. Had to get them out of storage. Looks so shiny and clean. Not for long. And it's going to be a pig to uh, do the wheel alignment, I'm sure. But I'll have fun with that when it comes to it. It's at least in my worries, to be honest. Right. In that bag is basically worrying. Let's get on with that. 